Karl Marx said that people shouldn't. He realizes that a society cannot be truly happy when its members do not have their born given freedoms. Marx theorized that capitalism would fall all on its own because the people under this government would naturally want it to. John F. Kennedy once said, those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. The same idea was what Marx had in mind when making his predictions. When we look through history, we can see plenty of examples, such as the American and French revolutions, as well as Lenin's rise to power. Karl Marx predicted that there was a natural course every society develops into, from an agricultural society, to mercantile, to a capitalist state, and finally becoming a socialist society, in which all do as they please in their line of work, and the whole of society does better with the employment and equal opportunity of all. Unfortunately, Marx did not live long enough to see his ideas unfold and take place in the world. Many were attracted to Marx's philosophy. A few decades after his death, Vladimir Lenin was inspired by Marx's communist manifesto and devised a way to apply the ideas put forward by Marx into his Bolshevik party. Two years later, halfway across the globe, roughly a million American citizens voted for a socialist president. Throughout the next century, the USSR expanded to nearly three quarters of the Eurasian continent. Ten more countries further east converted to communism. It seemed as though the social system of government and this ideal way of life that Marx dreamed of would never cease to grow and expand. From agricultural Russia, the USSR cut up with the world's largest industrial leaders in just a few decades, as the world was engulfed in a catastrophic fight to be the best. The path to get there led to many ruthless strategies and tactics put forward by political parties and leaders. Karl Marx's vision for the communist revolution was that the masses would follow a leader in the struggle for a perfect society. This is what many of the 20th century communist leaders promised. Joseph Stalin, Mao Zedong, as well as many others, had taken the liberty to decide what is best for the people and country. Giving up this power was part of the vision designed by Karl Marx, but not what these new leaders had in mind. Their desire for power didn't let these commanders relinquish the decision-making roles. Consequently, some of these governments, particularly Stalin's and Zedong's, morphed into dictatorship. This put forth an association between communism and totalitarianism, eliminating the notion of social ideas, of liberating people, and improving life conditions that were pursued by Karl Marx. Что вы можете сказать о жизни в советские времена и сейчас? Когда вам жилось лучше? Много положительных моментов было в советское время. Первое, пожалуй, самое главное. Это уверенность в завтрашнем дне. Это первое. Второе. Это социальные вещи, которые нас окружали просто с детства. Школа, имерские лагеря, в конце концов, институты. Взять сегодняшний день. Очень много положительных вещей, очень много. Все стало доступно, свобода стала доступна. И вещи, которые мы не могли себе позволить купить в советское время, стало все это доступно. Но в то же время при этом есть очень много вещей, которые мне не нравятся, лично мне. Социальные все вещи перечеркнуты, у людей прекратилась вера в завтрашний день. Поэтому однозначно каких-то слов сказать, когда мы жить лучше. В советское время или сейчас я не смог. В советское время и сейчас я работаю стоматолог. Но если сравнивать то положение и это, то свое состояние во времена советской власти я чувствовал себя намного увереннее. Во-первых, это и социальный статус был достаточно высокий. И он сказывался и в заработной плате. То есть я достаточно был, мог себе позволить быть независимым. В нынешнее время это тоже неплохая специальность, но уверенности и тем более социального статуса я не вижу. At present, many people are still directly influenced by the socialist principles put forward by Marx. Look at Sweden, for example. Sweden has combined capitalist and socialist aspects into a democratic socialist government. The Swedish Social Democratic Party was founded in 1889 and has lost only four major elections since 1917. This country is ranked first in the list of world's democracies and seventh in the Human Development Index list, being ahead of most clear-cut democracies that denied the ideas of Marx. Its economy has jumped to new heights, and Swedish citizens get social benefits like free healthcare and even universal insurance. 
All of these improvements can be attributed to Marx's proletarian government concept. Even the U.S. government has been applying socialist benefits to the country. In the past century, socially oriented programs like Social Security, Free Education, and even the likes of OSHA have appeared in our country. Even the newly elected President Barack Obama is willing to provide health care for everyone in the U.S. These are socialist elements made in regard to the working class, for the working class. The writings and deeds of Karl Marx gave life to the idea of communism and shaped the mind of working people worldwide. Che Guevara, the famous revolutionary and social and political activist, once said, The merit of Marx is that he suddenly produces a qualitative change in the history of social thought. He interprets history, understands its dynamic, predicts the future, but in addition to predicting it, he expresses a revolutionary concept. The world must not only be interpreted, it must be transformed. People are naturally looking for stability. We want to be certain in the days to come. One of the greatest benefits of socialism, once it's reached, is stability. The system that will best satisfy these needs will be the one to serve our future generations. Karl Marx believed in human rights and helped persuade millions to believe the same. He was an outstanding philosopher and predictor. Throughout the last two centuries, Marx's ideas regarding social and economic equality have inspired thousands of leaders, touched millions of Samaritans across the globe, and influenced the socio-economic development and evolution of numerous countries. Karl Marx's legacy to history is his social and philosophical contribution that is still evident in the 21st century.